Greetings, St. Therese family. Miss Brenda here again to teach you about the last two natural elements that are honored on Dia de los Muertos altars. I last spoke about the elements of air and water. Today, I will speak to fire and earth. Fire is traditionally represented using candles. When I was growing up, I was taught to set out one candle for each of our departed ancestors, plus just one more. The extra candle on an altar is meant to welcome back a forgotten soul. Somebody that maybe doesn't have a family to put up an altar for them anymore or remember them. The next element is earth. Earth can be represented on an altar in many different ways. The most common offerings used to represent the earth are food, plants, and flowers. The food is meant to provide our ancestors a feast to celebrate their return to us and celebrate a year's worth of successful harvests. We've already learned about the most popular flower used for Dia de los Muertos, which is Sempual Shoshil, or marigolds. Because Sempual Shoshil are so hard to find in the Northwest, I like to use mums. They are still really bright and are also have a strong and sweet scent. What flowers and plants and food would you put out to greet your ancestors? <laughs> 